Welcome to the premiere episode of The Constellations, a new video series which will look at one constellation, uh, its mythology, some interesting facts about the constellation, uh, how to find it in the sky, and interesting objects within the constellation. This month, we look at Taurus the Bull. First, the myth of Taurus. There are a number of myths, um, mostly Greek. Uh, so we'll look at uh, one well-known Greek myth uh, involving Taurus, uh, and this involves, of course, Zeus, the king of the Greek gods. Uh, now, he is also known as Jupiter uh, in, uh, to the Roman, uh, Romans as well. So, uh, Zeus sees the beautiful maiden Europa, uh, and she is the daughter uh, of King Agenor. He is the king of Phoenicia, and she is gathering flowers along the coastline of Phoenicia when she spots a herd of cows. Uh, this is her, of course, these are her father's uh, sacred cows. And so she goes to, uh, as she's picking flowers, she mingles amongst the animals, and there Zeus spots her. And he is immediately enamored with her, as he, is, as he so often is in, in many myths. And so he transforms himself into a big white, snow white bull. Uh, and so he mingles with the, with the, other, with the other cows. And she, she notices this, obviously the striking color of the bull, um, and the bull has short, but almost jewel-like horns. And so she decides to pat the bull's shoulder, kind of rubs the back, uh, and she notices that he seems to like this. So she does what must be something of an athletic feat. She jumps up on the back of this bull, uh, one hand holding one of the horns, and the other hand holding a bunch of flowers, the flowers that she is gathering. Uh, and this scene is often depicted in art. So, she, uh, after she jumps on the bull, Zeus immediately takes off, in the course still in the guise of a bull, and they head for the island of Crete, which is a long journey, of course. Once they get there, Zeus eventually uh, transforms himself back into his divine form and uh, probably shocking Europa quite a bit. So Europa became one of Zeus's many lovers and uh, much to the horror of, of his wife Hera, needless to say. And the couple produced three sons, uh, Minos especially, who would later become the king of Crete. Uh, now, Europa is primarily remembered uh, today for having the continent of Europe named after her, and also one of the four largest moons of Jupiter um, is also named Europa, first discovered by Galileo back in 1610. Zeus decided that uh, he, was, he was quite pleased with this feat, and so he, he uh, placed the figure of a bull into the night sky. And uh, that is how Taurus, the constellation, um, got up there in the sky. Taurus is placed just west of Orion, the mighty hunter. And the two seem to battle it out throughout the night, with Orion first getting higher, sort of advancing on the bowl, and then the bowl eventually getting lower as it sets, backing off. Uh, and this, this scene is repeated uh, every night during the late fall and uh, throughout the winter. Uh, another Roman myth involved uh, another beautiful maiden, Io. Uh, Io is a priestess of the goddess Hera or Juno, again, as the Romans referred to her. Uh, and, uh, well, of course, you can almost guess what happens. Uh, uh, Jupiter saw Io and fell just head over heels in love with her. Um, well, Juno noticed this, and of course she got very angry. She was uh, well known for her anger towards uh, her husband, uh, Jupiter. And so she decided to turn Io into a cow. 
thinking that would solve the entire problem. Fortunately, it didn't. Uh, Jupiter transformed himself into a bull, and the two mated. And, of course, Io would become one of Jupiter's many, uh, many loves. So Juno was enraged by this, and so she decided to place Io, still as a cow, under the watchful eyes of Argus, uh, he of the 100 eyes, uh, who never fully slept, uh, because he always kept at least a few of his eyes uh, open at one particular time. Um, now the scene uh, of Mercury, uh, who, was, who was asked by Jupiter to slay Argus and free Io, uh, is, is often uh, shown in, in many paintings uh, throughout the history of art. Uh, so eventually Mercury does kill Argus and he does free Io. Jupiter is turned back, uh, Jupiter turned back uh, Io into her, into her human form and uh, later on, of course, Io, like Europa, would become uh, also one of the four largest moons of Jupiter. The Pleiades. The Pleiades actually are riding on the back of Taurus the Bull. Uh, the Pleiades, you could almost do a separate episode on them because there are so many myths uh, involved with the Pleiades. That grouping of stars has been seen by every culture um, who could possibly see the Pleiades. Uh, so, starting with uh, one popular myth, the Pleiades were the seven daughters of Atlas and Pleione. Hence, the Pleiades. Now, Atlas was way too busy to be able to protect his daughters from, from any trouble, uh, as he was literally um, holding the world on his shoulders. Uh, and this is why, of course, uh, a book of maps is referred to as an atlas, because early on they often featured the Titan Atlas holding the globe uh, up on his shoulders. Uh, a Roman myth uh, from Hyginus, uh, from Hyginus's Poetica Astronomica, tells that Pleione was traveling with her seven daughters one day, and um, they came across Orion, the mighty hunter. Uh, now, Orion tried to attack the Pleiades, and praying to Jupiter, um, the Pleiades begged Jupiter to protect them from Orion, and Jupiter heard their pleas and transformed them into seven doves. The doves, of course, flew up into the sky, but Orion pursued, pursued them for many years. Eventually, the doves were transformed by Jupiter into the stars we now call the Pleiades, and Orion was also placed among the stars quite nearby. In ancient times, before what we call the solar year was actually known, um, the year was actually divided into two halves, or two parts. The year began with the pre-dawn uh, rising of the Pleiades, and the winter would begin with the emergence of the Pleiades in the, in the evening sky. The Pleiades were so important to the ancient Egyptians that they referred to the time period we call the month of November as the month of the Pleiades. The Pawnee Indians who lived uh, right here in these very parts um, saw the Pleiades as the seven stars. Uh, they were thought to be seven brothers. And whenever the seven brothers could be seen uh, overhead through a smoke hole in the roof of their, their mud lodge, um, right before mid-September, and just before dawn, it was time to harvest the crops. And of course you have the bright red star Aldebaran, which marks the fiery red eye of Taurus the Bull. The Pleiades themselves are worth looking at through a pair of binoculars or even a, a very small telescope under, under very low power. Otherwise, um, it's, it's impossible to get all of the Pleiades into one field of view. The most well-known deep sky object in Taurus, however, is what we call M1. M1 is the Crab Supernova, or simply referred to as the Crab Nebula today. Uh, this was a, a uh, star which actually blew itself up back in the year 1054 AD. The Chinese saw it, and they recorded a guest star 
in Taurus at that time. And this guest star was actually visible for uh, a month in broad daylight. It was that bright. Uh, and this lasted for about a month before it dimmed so much it was not visible any longer to the unaided eye. Much later on, a uh, famed comet hunter, the French astronomer Charles Messier, uh, discovered the Crab Nebula and thought he was actually looking at, well, the most famous comet of all, Halley's Comet. Uh, when he realized that this was not the comet he, was, he thought he had seen, he decided to uh, make a catalog uh, of all these objects that sort of resembled comets under a very low power telescope. Uh, so he wouldn't make these mistakes repeatedly. Today, uh, Charles Messier is, is known almost entirely for his uh, catalog of deep sky objects. Today, there are 110 Messier objects in this catalog. And as we go through the constellations every month, we will hear uh, about more of the Messier catalog. So that's it, though, for this month. Thank you for joining me. I'm Kirk Rosberg. Join me again next month for the Constellations.